Hello folks welcome to Nasaro CNC. Today we are going to talk about the X panel controller and user interface. We will go through how to use it. First let's understand some of the control we have on the X panel. This is the X panel controller the brain of the machine. The good thing about X panel is self-running controller. There is no need PC or any laptop etc. The front has spindle control knob, start stop pause switch and emergency switch. The right side has on off switch and the back contains all of the connectors. Let's know about all the connectors. This is the machine power connector, spindle power connector, machine controller port. You can connect laser in this port. XYZ touch probe connector. This is for ZN stop switch. This is for YN stop switch. And this is for XN stop switch. This is for right Y axis motor. This is for left Y axis motor. This is for Z axis motor. This is for X axis motor. 4 USB port. Ethernet port. HDMI port for LCD touchscreen. Now let's know quick things about touchscreen interface of universal G code sander. And try to get you quick about your machine screen understand. First connect a machine from the controller by touching the connect button, which is located of the left side of the screen. When the machine is connected, the alarm light is red that time. It means your machine is locked. To unlock the machine touch the unlock button. Make sure the emergency stop switch of X panel disengage at this movement. Otherwise screen unlock button will not work. If the switch is engaged, disengage it by twist the red cap to the right until you hear it click. Now the machine is unlocked. Now touch the unlock button and alarm light is off. Now before operating the machine, you must home the machine first by touching the home button. If you not home the machine, the machine will not recognize his limit. End stop will not work. And machine will crash if you will go out of the machine limit. Now you can jog the machine wherever you want. Machine will not crash. When the machine will go out of his limit, machine will stop immediately until you touch the opposite button of the jog control. Machine will not crash anywhere if you run the home sequence before running the machine. This is your jog distance section. You can decide how far you want to send your machine in one click. We enter 10 in step size X, Y and 10 in step size Z. It means machine will go 10 millimeters in one click. Let's enter value 100 to X, Y and 50 to Z. and you enter the feed rate here and decide how fast your machine go. This is controller state DRO window. You can zero all XYZ DRO by clicking the reset zero button and all XYZ axis become zero. You notice it's only resetting the top numbers zero. The bottom numbers as it relates to where the machine is from home. We should never be able to reset. So we focusing on these top numbers. Now let's know how you can zero individually X, Y, Z axis. You can click the X, Y, Z button to zero the X, Y, Z separately. This is return to zero button. You can recall the machine to zero position by touching the return to zero button. This is soft reset button you can reset the controller if you needed, but it doesn't lose its position. Now go to the overrides tab. UGS have ability to override your feed rates. Now what is your feed rate? Your feed rate is how fast a machine is moving into the material. 
You could make it go faster if you wanted to by clicking these double arrows button. And that's going to make it move faster. But there is a set the limit by factory 2 in terms of the machine can adjust how fast the motors can move. You can't be faster that. You can crank that back down. By taping the double minus button or you could just click your feed reset button to resume the normal commanded feed rate. This is sand progress tab. You can see current status of the running program. This is visualizer window. Visualizer is shows the job in virtually. It shows where the spindle is and currently in relation to where this part is cutting. This is probe module tab. You can zero the all axis by using XYZ touch probe automatically. If you learn more, you can watch our video how to use XYZ touch probe. Find the link in the description below. This is console section. Console displaying messages to end from controller. To run a job the first thing would be to open your G-code file. I open the sample of Nasaro logo. The visualizer shows the job. The yellow lines are rapids which is where machine is moving quite quickly and not cutting tool path. And the blue lines and the red lines are all the cutting tool path. Now press the play button and start the cutting job. Spindle is automatically on. And you will see an error T6M6. T in a number is the number of the tool it would like you to insert it, or if it's instructing the machine to go and pick up. And M6 is don't do that change, so T6M6 is telling my machine to go and pick up tool number 6. We don't have automatic tool changer. So this throws up an error. It would be a good reminder that you insert correct tool for the job. So there will always come up and you simply press play again. And we would now be watching the machine do an air cut over the top of the stock. At this point open the overrides tab and adjust the cutting feed. If you realize it's going to be for too slow or far too fast and make slight adjustment. That concludes the X Shaper CNC controller review and tutorial video. If you have any questions and concerns, you can reach out to us via email at nasarocnc at gmail.com and to see our other accessories visit our website nasarocnc.com. See you next time good luck.